Hi, I'm Thais. Welcome to Jackass. Hello everyone, today I will be uh, trying out a very cheap um, chipset block from AliExpress. I, I'm not sure how expensive, like 3 or 4 euros. Yeah, we're going to try it out on my, uh, on my main rig. Let's see uh, if it's any good. I presume not. That's with all the expensive looking stuff from AliExpress. It's always a kind of meh. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, build it in. The block retails for about 8 euros on AliExpress. At least if you don't count in the shipping. According to the advertisement, the block is multi-purpose. It can be used on chipsets or graphics cards. Though I do recommend you get a full block for your graphics card, as your RAM won't be cool. The shipping of the block was pretty fast. Shipping would take 12 to 15 days. It arrived within 11 days. Though you would expect it when you pay for shipment, I didn't expect it to be honest. Now, back to the block. The bottom is made of copper and the top is made of plexi. The block itself comes with two mounting brackets. And two screws of course. The block supports G1 and a quarter fittings. In the package, you'll find a block and two black aluminum compression fittings. I don't recommend you use these compression fittings as you shouldn't mix aluminum and copper. Also, the paint lets go very easily. You might end up getting shards of paint in your loop, which would be horrible. I've used different compression fittings, one from IKEA and another one from AliExpress, and those fitted right away. The block itself feels very sturdy, and I don't have the feeling it will leak very soon, though time will have to point that out. So, let's start off by removing the old heatsink from the chipset. You can do that by taking out this and this pin. The best way of taking out these pins is pushing them in, taking a clamp and clamping them together from the back and pushing them through. This is quite hard to do, so don't force it. You don't want to damage the heatsink because you'll maybe have to reuse it on an RMA or if your water block doesn't fit. Okay, so we got the chipset heatsink off. Now you want to go ahead and apply some uh, thermal paste. I've also ordered it from uh, AliExpress. Three tubes. I don't know what uh, what I paid for them. So you want to put a very tiny amount of it on there. Oh my god, this looks very crappy actually. Uh, mm, that's already too much. So let's see, one more around the back side. Like so, one on the inside, mm. so, I just look horrible. And the next step is to drain loop around the box and stuff. The bucket. So there's Arctic Silver on this I'm going to grab it again, again real So, use a cross pattern on it. That's the best idea for the best spread. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a so, let's move on to the graphics card. So, this one is pretty straightforward, I guess. Put it in like that. As I said, pretty straightforward in the way my graphics card great just great it's okay 
It's Joker. It, no, it's not. Um, I guess it will be zip tied then. So it's very professionally modified on there with the zip tie, the bottom as well. Extra tightness. So, uh, okay. So let's try that again with the graphics card here. I'm not sure. It's still against the block. Can I push it underneath? Yeah. Oh, this is so ugly. Compression fitting goes on here. Which goes on the outlet of the block here. Screw down. Like so. So, I'm not too happy with this bend here. If I'm going to cut off a piece of the tubing. Now, I'm going to change the side of the tube as well. Because if you look right here. This is the inlet. Outlet and inlet, so it's like diagonal, and that's ugly as well. Like so, all right. Creeping through the shadows in the corners of your mind. I go with the windows, I run, but I don't hide. I hear the call of the wild whisper in the night. So, uh, it's all uh, fun and stuff until you uh, think yourself. Why the heck did I put on a graphics card first? Right, all the time. Instead of for me. Well, she's hooked up, ready to go. So, uh, let's uh, go fill her up and. Uh, Hi, I'm Thais. Welcome to Jackass. Let's go ahead. I mean, no leaks so far, so, so far so good. Verdict here: Should you buy this product? Depends on your board, but I'm saying no. Um, the mounting mechanism—it's uh, in the way of my graphics card, so I can't use it. I need to use zip ties. The fittings you get with it are absolutely rubbish. They're like plain and black, but once you touch it, it peels off. They don't even fit in the block, by the way. I, I had to use my other um, fittings I ordered from AliExpress to, to do this build because those did fit. I also used an EK fitting because those of course the, the, the Olive Press fittings and these are aluminum. Nice. So uh, no don't don't buy this. It's bad. So thanks for watching. If you uh, like this video please leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't like it tell us in the comments uh, what you would like to see next time. Stay tuned for uh, the delitting video. It will be up soon. It, uh, it did work of course otherwise my build wouldn't be running but See you then!